find a way to survive. That's been your only option since the beginning. registered as subject of protection. Commencing guidance to shelter. Come on, at least pick up your gun. Oh, that's something. Break time, rookie. Now the game is over. Maybe we'll get to play again sometime. Hurry. You won't live forever. Cyberpunk vases. Or jar the jars are just made of swords. Mm hmm In this universe. I mean we don't we don't know. This may, might not be our world. Wow, you really gave that guy the business. Yeah, you gotta give him a quick little uppercut. Oh, this is gonna be gnarly. Oof! Nice. Yeah, and God. it's not like it never gets Hotline Miami gross with the carnage that's going on. Um, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that too. All right, here we go. Is this your favorite part? Is this your jam up here? I think this next run, this this next area, is is maybe my favorite. Give me a play-by-play. -play. Give me an eSport breakdown. All right, so first you're going to see I'm opening with slow motion. Let him fire the bullet, slice it, knock it back at him, jump Hell over yes. the bullets, slice it. Oh, I get shot a oh, times. Oh, no. Okay. But uh, luckily none of that counts, because I can just rewind time. Well, I experienced it. Mm. All right, butcher knife, nice. throw it up there. Yes. Uppercut him, grab this little blade. Here's some sort of shotgun man. So I think I'll throw it at him. Oh, it did not go so nice. Oh, damn, Nick. Darn it. You should know better than Do you have to rewind to the beginning of the the screen each time? Yeah, yeah, you do. Okay. It's super quick, though. Um, and I actually, in the process of recording this video, I probably played through this demo four or five times. Uh, not just like trying to, to find the optimal run, but also just like approaching different ways of like, okay, what if I try to reflect everyone's bullets back at them or uh, kill dudes without knocking down doors. Uh, oh, so in addition to the slow motion having like a meter that dictates how much you can use it, you have a time limit for the screen. Yes. Yeah, okay. so it's something that's addressed in the plot is them saying like the way Kronos works for some reason, there's only a finite amount of planning you can do. Uh, so you do have kind of a time limit, but it's that's only really come up when I was like super stalling, waiting for a guy to be in the perfect opportune position. やっと。
but where exactly is here? Thankfully our hero has another trick up his sleeve, which we call concentration mode. We can use it to check for points of interest within the house. This ability comes in quite handy when stuck during the process of investigation and sometimes can reveal things that could not be seen by a regular citizen of Auckland. Well, that looks welcoming. These frightening creatures apparently came along with the flood. They usually attack the player in packs, since their abilities and behavior often synergizes with one another. Small Stygian harvesters are trying hard to destroy the main character, while Revenant over there tries to land a painful ranged attack. Thankfully, if they bleed, we can kill them, although weapons and bullets are quite hard to come by, and this fight is surely gonna cost us. Let's check up on the center attack. The settlement is now on fire from the barrage of arrows, and our men are getting over the walls and getting stuck into the enemy. Yes! Sack them! Cousin, we come to aid you. We ride with fury at our back. Our reinforcements have arrived. This huge mass of cavalry will be the perfect thing to break Lubu's men. We'll charge them into this spear infantry. They're going to knock these guys flying and destroy their morale. Our reinforcements are led by Jehao Dun. He was shot in the eye by an arrow in battle against Lubu. He pulled it out, his eye still attached to the arrow, and proceeded to eat it. And we're going to get him out of the fight and head over to Lubu, who we're going to challenge to a duel. Duels are a new feature for Three Kingdoms, where the two heroes will duke it out in single combat until one either dies or retreats. Duels can help you single out an enemy combatant and take them out and turn the tide of battle. Do you like the look of Division 2? Do you think it's a cool place to put it? Uh, what do you think about the environment and so forth? Do you think it looks a bit too like apocalyptic zombie or are you kind of chill with that? Do you like this water? I like this fucking water. I think it's great. I really like the setting. I love foliage so I am very happy. Um, and also all the emotes are in. Um, so those of you who want to do some jumping jacks, there you go, you do some jumping jacks. Um, you can also do the Macarena if you like with a little shimmy at the start. It's incredibly exciting. So um, definitely expect content from Shady Ladies. If you are interested in more information on the Division 2, I will stick a link to the website in where you can also register right now for the beta before the game comes out on March 15th, 2019. So go check it out. 
Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought about E3 in general. Um, I know that we're still halfway through it, but what have you seen so far that really excites you? Um, what would you like me to play on the channel and on Twitch and so forth? Let me know. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out the Assassin's Creed Odyssey coverage as well, which is linked in the video description in the form of a playlist of all E3 contents. So anything I do will be on that. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you soon. Bye. America is on the brink of collapse. But some people have survived. Gardens grow on rooftops, their fences patrolled with rifles, in communities that live under constant siege. Survival has taken the form of urban warfare. Centuries ago, on this very soil, brother fought brother, spilling blood to forge the United States. History is threatening to repeat itself. Overall, the playstyle with V, at first it may seem a bit difficult to keep an eye out for what's going on in the battlefield, since after all, you control V, but also control his demons individually, and when it's about time, you need to switch to V again to strike the final blow with your pain. It's different than when you play with Dante or Nero, where you just focus on what's in front of you and deal with that, while you keep an eye out if you're being attacked by other demons. With V, you have to keep an eye out on both his demons and yourself. Although, as mentioned, there is an option to make Griffin and Shadow fight automatically for you, which consumes your Devil Trigger Gauge. But according to the developers themselves, once you get used to his playstyle, he's a fairly easy to use character, and I surely believe that since I assume you need to adapt for yourself a bit with his playstyle. But I imagine that once you're there, you're in full control of what's happening. Just kidding. You can call me V. And there you have it guys, I hope you had a good time and the extra info you needed to know about V's playstyle and how exactly his demons work in gameplay. But the most important thing to me is, what do you guys think of it? Now that you know more about V's tattoos, his demons and his book, do you think he will be a tricky character or pretty easy to use? Well, whatever you think, jump into the comment section below and leave me your thoughts. There is still quite a lot to talk and speculate about the story of DMC5 and V himself, as I want to keep the topics separated, so look forward to those. And while you're here guys, why don't you like and share this video as it helps me greatly and become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And you can also find me on my social media pages, simply at Yellowmotion, and now on Instagram as well, at Gaming. And that'll do it for me for this one. Once again guys, thanks a lot for being here and thanks a lot for watching. I see you guys in the next. Devil May Cry 5 video. Peace.